The upcoming NFL game between the Green Bay Packers and the Philadelphia Eagles, set to take place in Sao Paulo, Brazil, on September 6, 2024, has stirred unexpected tension, rooted in a fierce local soccer rivalry. This will be the first time an NFL game is played in South America, and the event is being hosted at the Neo Quimica Arena, the home stadium of Corinthians, one of Brazil's most popular soccer clubs. However, the excitement of this historic event has been tempered by a century-old feud between Corinthians and their bitter rivals, Palmeiras, a rivalry so intense that it even dictates the colors Corinthians fans will tolerate inside their stadium. Corinthians, a club with over 35 million passionate supporters, has a strict policy against anything green, the color worn by Palmeiras. The rivalry between these two Sao Paulo soccer powerhouses dates back more than a century, to 1917, when they first faced off on the field. Palmeiras, originally called Palestra Italia, was founded by Italian immigrants in 1914, just four years after Corinthians was established. The two clubs have been locked in a bitter feud ever since, with Palmeiras green and white colors becoming a symbol of enmity for Corinthians fans. This rivalry has permeated every aspect of Corinthians culture. Players can be fined for wearing green clothing, and even sponsors must adapt their branding to exclude the color if they want to be associated with the club. The enmity runs so deep that Corinthians executives once proposed painting the soccer pitch black to avoid using the color green. Fans have long refused to wear the color, and the chant of, take it off, has become a familiar sound in the stands whenever a supporter is spotted in green, regardless of the sport. On September 6, 2024, the NFL will stage its second game of the season in Sao Paulo's Neo Quimica Arena, where the Green Bay Packers will face the Philadelphia Eagles. While this marks a significant moment for the NFL as it expands its reach into new territories, the choice of team colors has sparked a heated discussion among Corinthians fans. The Eagles, who are technically the home team for this game, typically play in green jerseys, a color that poses a unique challenge in this venue. To avoid offending Corinthians fans, the Eagles have opted to wear black helmets, white jerseys, and black pants, colors that closely resemble Corinthians' traditional uniform. The decision came after a request from Corinthians' president, who stipulated that green is only acceptable for visiting teams and must not dominate the home team's kit. However, the Packers, known for their iconic green and yellow uniforms, will stick to their traditional colors for the game. Their choice to wear green has become a point of contention for Corinthians fans, while Palmeiras supporters see it as an opportunity to rally behind the Packers and show their colors proudly in the stadium. The tensions surrounding the game reached new heights when the Packers inadvertently offended Corinthians fans by gifting a green Packers jersey to Corinthians goalkeeper Hugo Souza. The jersey, emblazoned with the Corinthians name, immediately sparked outrage among supporters, many of whom took to social media to express their displeasure. The mishap only served to deepen the animosity some Corinthians fans felt toward the Packers, exacerbating an already delicate situation. Palmeiras fans, on the other hand, have embraced the Packers as their team of choice for this NFL match. Many have announced on social media that they will wear green to the game, turning the event into a symbolic extension of the soccer rivalry between Palmeiras and Corinthians. For Palmeiras fans, cheering for the Packers is a way to assert their identity and support a team whose colors align with their own. The bitter rivalry between Corinthians and Palmeiras is not just about soccer. It is deeply personal and laden with historical grievances. One of the most significant moments in their storied rivalry occurred in 1969 when two young Corinthians players, defender Lidu and striker Eduardo, tragically died in a car crash. In the aftermath of the accident, Corinthians requested to replace the players to continue competing in the Sao Paulo State Championship. Every other club in the tournament agreed, except for Palmeiras. The refusal to show sportsmanship in that moment of tragedy left a lasting wound, deepening the hatred between the two clubs. Renato Messina, a 75-year-old former player in the Corinthians Academy, still holds a grudge against Palmeiras for their lack of compassion in 1969. I don't wear green, and I don't speak the name of that club, Messina said, reflecting the sentiments of many Corinthians fans who remain unwavering in their disdain for their rivals. This deep-rooted rivalry has defined the culture of Corinthians for decades, and the upcoming NFL game has reignited these emotions in unexpected ways. Finding common ground in the Packers' asterisk while the Packers' choice of green uniforms has caused controversy, some Corinthians fans have found an unlikely kinship with the team. The Green Bay Packers are the only community-owned team in the NFL, and their grassroots approach to team ownership has resonated with some Corinthians supporters. Claudia Luain, a 43-year-old Corinthians fan who traveled to Japan in 2012 to watch her team win the Club World Cup, sees parallels between her club and the Packers. I like how they have a lot of regular people running a football team, Luane said, 
expressing her admiration for the Packers' unique structure. The Packers seem to be a team of the people. We're that, too. That's more important than the colors they wear. For Luane and others like her, the Packers' identity as a community-driven team outweighs the fact that they wear green.